Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. Got a quick video for you on how to do bulk editing inside of your Shopify store. Now you might wanna do bulk editing for your products in terms of editing price or uh, editing weights, especially when you are setting up your shipping rules for products. So uh, there are a couple different ways to do it. And I'm gonna show you the easiest way over the shoulder, but I'll show you, uh, I'll at least tell you about the other ways. Um, the old fashioned way to do it would be coming over here and clicking export. And uh, once we do that, basically uh, this would create a export in a uh, .csv file, so a, basically a Microsoft Excel file, where you'd be able to go into there, open up the spreadsheet and make bulk edits. You'd see different columns for things like price and weight and things like that. Um, that's one way to do it for sure. Now, in my opinion, the easier way, this is a, a, a relatively newer update from Shopify, you go right into the product that you want to edit, right? So let's say we're going to edit this t-shirt. And uh, for example, let's say we're going to edit all of the weights, right? We want all of the weights to be uh, uniform so they can match with our shipping rules. So we come over here to our edit page, okay? And we're coming down here and obviously here's all our variants. All we need to do is click this button right here, okay? Click this to select all of the variants. And now we're going to come over here and click edit variants. And, and actually before I do that, I'll tell you, you can edit a couple things in mass, like for example, you can change price over here, um, update images, delete variants, blah, blah, blah. But what you're typically gonna do, apart from price, when you wanna make edits, is you'll come check all of them. So you click this box to select all the variants and then click edit variants. This is gonna bring us to a page that pretty much looks like Microsoft Excel. And in fact, this is the same thing that you would be doing in Excel. You'd have these kind of columns and you'd be able to change things here. So you see here are the currently uh, editable fields and we could add more. So, uh, you know, let's say we wanted to go ahead and change the weights. And let's say, for example, our, uh, our shipping rules use 1.0 ounces for our t-shirts. And uh, let's say, just for example, say it's gonna be the same, this is thread me up, so it's the same price for shirts or hoodies. So let's say shirts or hoodies or women's or any style are gonna weigh one ounce each, okay? So whatever uh, shipping rules you will set up will be the number that you would use here. But let's say I wanna change all of these to be one ounce. Well, I just need to go and type in one. Okay, and then I'll just go and do the next one. One ounce, one ounce, one ounce. You know, you could just copy these, you know, if you want. Copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, etc., 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 until you get down. And you could just even select all these and you could paste them in. Okay, so now everything is one ounce. Okay, uh, and again, this could be anything. You know, it could be one, you know, if you want, if your rules are for pounds, you can make it pounds. If it's, you know, one ounce, put one ounce. If it's 10 ounces or whatever your rule is, you put the number here, or maybe you're not uh, changing weights and you want to change price. You know, you could do that all right here. You're right, twenty four ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, I'm going to keep these at twenty two ninety nine, and I changed all the weights, so I'm going to click Save All Changes, and you're going to see this page is going to basically refresh, and it's going to update all of these weights. You see them doing 1.0, 1.0, 1.0. It's going to go all the way down until it changes all of the weights for you, and uh, once it's done, it will give you a little message saying that it is uh, all complete. So it's just working through here, but this is easier than having to export it and then go into Excel. So you're able to actually make all of these bulk edits right inside of your Shopify store. And there you go, saved 60 product variants. And uh, now we can close this out. And going back to our product page, all of our variants are now gonna weigh that one ounce that we set. And I'll just show you right here. We can look at one individual variant and you're gonna see it's one ounce right down here, okay? So uh, this is the easiest way to change your, uh, your weights or your prices or anything involving variants. Again, you're gonna select all here, click edit variants, you get this little Microsoft Excel looking thing, and then you could add these different options here to edit. And you see the weight, the price, the compare price, etc., etc. So super easy, super quick. Uh, again, not, not at all technically challenging at all. Uh, you know, all you just need to do is come in here and uh, basically update this little spreadsheet thing. So that's how you do bulk editing in Shopify. Hope this video was helpful and I'll talk to you soon.